Hello all. Today we have gathered here for the demonstration of the practicals. The software which you are going to use is Fridzing and Wiring. Fridzing software is used for circuitry designing where we will be designing our IoT's circuitry designs and wiring is used for performing the programs that we would be doing on Arduino. Now let us move on with Fridzing. So let me click Fridzing. Fridzing is an open source software which is freely available in the internet. It is available for Mac OS, Windows 32 bit, Windows 64 bit. You can download uh, the version which is compatible with your systems. So once you have clicked, your screen will be viewed in this method. Here you can see it involves three types. One is breadboard where you will get the actual breadboard design and the other is schematic. As you are working with the breadboard, the respective schematic is also designed by this fridging software. The next is PCB, which is nothing but printed circuit board. We have already seen about printed circuit board during our theory lectures. So, uh, fridging software assists in developing the printed circuit board along with the circuitry designs that we will be doing in the breadboard. And the other is the code. The code part is used for coding. But if you see, we are not going to do our code part in this section. We will be doing a code part in wiring. But if we have actually an Arduino board, we could have connected the Arduino board to the fridging software and we could have performed this code and we could have uploaded this code to the Arduino board. Since we do not have hardware, we are just going to do the circuitry design and the coding part is done in the wiring software. Now, let us start a design with the breadboard. So let me click on breadboard. You can see you have got a breadboard. So this breadboard is much similar to the breadboard which we would have been used in our electronics practicals. So now, these are the components which you can see. Some of the components are familiar. This is the resistor and this is the potentiometer transistor, sorry. And this is the potentiometer. And there are many types of hardware that are available. So here you can go through. There are many sections which is available. And here if you see, this is actually the Arduino logo. So if you click on this, several Arduino boards, sensors, shields will be loaded. You can select which Arduino board you can require by just simply clicking on it and dragging it into the screen. So as you can see, the Arduino board is dragged into the screen. Now, when you move on in detail or when you move on in closer to the Arduino board, you guys can see that every labels of the Arduino board. So you can see over here the analog pins, the power pin with the ground and these are the digital pins. And you can, we have already seen about these jackets. This is for USB and this is the Japan jacket port. Now, how I would be doing the practicals in the sense, search for the necessary component. You can either go and search over the components over here or the best is click on the search option. Let me just include an LED by typing the LED and clicking on this search button. So it would search for different LEDs like 7 segment LED or 4 7 segment LED displays, many types. Let me just select the basic LED. So let me just select the basic LED. So this is the basic LED I would like to include into my project. So click on it and just drag and drop it on your breadboard. So it is similar to your .NET software where you click on the control and you can access the properties. So where would I find these properties in the sense just click on the control and scroll to the 
this window. This window is actually called as the properties window. Here you can see that there are many properties associated with it. Now let me just select the basic LED that I would be requiring for my project for the further practical. So I have dragged and dropped my LED. Now uh, we will be seeing the practical three, sorry, two, uh, where we would be using two LEDs or three LEDs for blinking. So here I have dropped and dropped. By default, it is going to be a red LED. I want a new LED with a different color. Either you can click and drag for a new LED or just click on the already LED which you have added. Click on copy. As you can see, after right click, you can find the copy. Click on copy. As you want to delete it, delete it. Or you want to create an exact replica of the control, click on duplicate. Now I would like to just copy. So let me click copy. And then I have to paste it. For paste, you can use either right click and paste or you can give control V for paste. So as you can see, I have obtained three LEDs now. I want to change the color. Let me keep the first LED as red. And let me change the second LED color to yellow. Or you can see this is the property window where we can change the color. So there are many colors available, infrared, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, white. So let me keep as blue or as I'll be keeping as green, the basic color. And I'll keep the other color as blue. So let me just take the basic colors that is red, green and blue. You can select any colors you want as per your wish. So once the colors is changed or anything can be changed according to these properties that are available. As you can closely look into this, the LED has two pins. This pin is going to be called as cathode. You can see the footnote which is represented. And this pin is going to be called as anode. So again, you can see the footprint. I can see the cathode pins, the dots on the red board are green, which is nothing but these are the pins you can use to connect to the Arduino board or to the any connections you want to make. Now, let me delete this control. Just click this control and give the del button or right click this control and give delete. It's deleted. The same way you can change the size of the breadboard by just clicking on the breadboard and going to the properties and you can see the size of the breadboard. There are different sizes. It would be best if we keep full plus. So we would be requiring more components to be added in the further practicals. Now, I want this to be connected. So for wires, where would I be searching the wires in this sense? Just keep the pointer on this pin. Click it and then drag it. Done. It has created a wire. Of course, LED takes digital input, so I have to connect it to the digital pins. So how you would be creating the wires? Click on the pin and then drag it and then connect it to the digital pins on the Arduino board. As you can see, this ugly design is done where the wires are overlapping the board. So what you can do, you can just rotate the Arduino board by clicking on the Arduino board and you can find the option of rotate here. Just rotate once and again rotate it. Done. So again there is overlapping. This beautification can be done at the end of the session. Done. I have done it. Still you don't want to overlap it. Just connect it from the bottom to the pins respectively. And in case if you need any other components like resistors or any other power supply would like to add it, you can add it by just searching for the component and just press enter. So there are many types of resistors are involved. Now select the basic resistor, drag and drop it on your breadboard. Again, you can see resistors has two pins. So the green points to that that you can add the power supply or the data or the signal to these resistors using any of these pins. Done. Once this designing is done, you can see its respective schematic is built. Its respective printed circuit board is built. So thus it becomes easy for us for doing the electronic design. 
Now let me come to the code. As I told, we are not going to do the code over here. We will be doing the code using the wiring. But if you have the Arduino board and if that board is connected to your system with the help of the serial port, you just include the serial port over here and click on the upload. So the code whatever you write over here will be uploaded to your Arduino board. That's all for the end of the demo of Fritzing. In case if there is any doubts, we will be discussing during our practical sessions. Thank you.